my friend Sammy Bartko here. I'm here to film a St. Patty's Day face painting tutorial um, that I think the kids are gonna like. Uh, this is gonna have a rainbow, a pot of gold, and some clovers, so let's get started. So first I'm gonna take my Diamond Effects Rainbow Cake, which looks like this, and then I'm gonna take my square sponge. You can see I already have it partly loaded. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna swipe it down like this to get my rainbow. And then I'm gonna start kind of three quarters away over here on the other side of my forehead and I'm just going to take it and smush it down and dab it all the way down and around to this side. Okay, and what I'm going to do while this is kind of wet, I am going to sprinkle it with some Mama Clown's White Fairy Glitter. So I'm going to close my eyes and just do a little bit so this way the glitter sticks. Just like that. See, all nice and sparkly. And then I am going to make some clovers. Um, I'm going to use a, a bright leaf cake that I've made using um, tag colors. And I'm going to use um, a size 10 flat low cornell brush just like this. And I'm going to make like a whole bunch of clovers on this side just by making little hearts. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate the side of my face. Just like this. And see how you make clovers just like that? And I'll probably add maybe about five clovers to this side. They're really easy to do if you're good at making hearts using your one stroke technique. So you go make one side this way and then take the other side just like that. And it's good to kind of make them all random sizes and don't worry about if they overlap each other because that just adds interest to the design. Um, so we'll make, like I said, about five of these. And there's one side of the heart and the other side. And they don't have to be perfect. There we go. And then I'm going to add some kind of like, you know, a little bit of leaves and things like that just to create different elements of design out of the green. You know, so it doesn't have to be all clovers, just to kind of add a little bit of decoration. Because clovers in a clover patch really aren't going to be just all clovers. There's going to be other leaves and stuff intermixed, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to put a few clovers on this side, too, to create balance in your design. Then we are going to take a sponge. I like these wolf sponges to do clouds. Um, just because they're a little bit stiffer and they work well with the stippling. And to do the clouds, I am going to use a tag metallic white. Uh, just because I don't want them so bold, I want you know the things to kind of fade back. And then to make my clouds, I'm just going to gently tap over here, okay, on the end of the rainbow. Okay, and make sure, I don't know if you can see, because I don't think the camera's too great on the iPad, um, make sure you kind of cover up that line from your rainbow, so you want it to all just kind of blend in and be really pretty. You can bring some up over here, just like that. And then, because I just love glitter, we will go ahead and add some glitter to the clouds and just put that on just like that okay and then what I'm going to do we're going to make our pot of gold and I'm going to take my number six low cornell brush low cornells are like my favorite brush um, I just really enjoy them so what I'm going to do next is take my uh, tag metallic black this has become like my new favorite black um, I love doing jewelry and things like that and the beautiful thing about the tag metallic black is that it's not so harsh in color 
it's, you know, like the regular black, but so we're gonna make the pot for the pot of gold. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little U design like that. We wanna make this look three dimensional, so we gotta give it like a little U loop. Just like that. And then we're gonna make it rounded at the bottom. Just like that. Real simple. The one thing, you know, people ask me, oh, how come you paint so well and blah, 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 and all that. And I, you know, and I tried teaching my daughter how to draw, and she's actually doing really well learning how to draw. I told her the best way to do it is to block things out in shapes. So you see how I made the, the pot? It's just like a U shape. Then I made a circle, you know, just underneath like that. And um, then I created a pot of gold. So next, I am going to take um, my low Cornell, another low Cornell brush. This one is a number four round. And then I'm gonna take um, my Tag Old Gold, which is one of my favorite, favorite color golds because it's got like a really cool coppery metallic look. And this is what we're gonna make the pot of gold or the gold in the pot with. <laughs> so um, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and load the brush up good like that. And then we're gonna just add some loops in here. We want a big pot of gold because you know leprechauns, they hide a lot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Just like that, if you can see that. Okay, and so we have part of this design here. And then you have to add swirlies. And I absolutely love swirlies. Um, swirls and curls and teardrops and all sorts of fun stuff. So I'm gonna take my tag old gold again and we're just gonna do some teardrops. Just like that. Okay. And that creates, you know, flow to your design. And the trick to teardrops is practice. They just take lots and lots of practice. You know, just to get that right step. And we can add some gold highlights to um, our clovers by adding some gold dots. Same thing over here. Okay. And so you see the pot of gold's kind of flat. We want to add some depth and dimension to that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take another low Cornell brush. Like I said, they are my favorite. And this one is a low Cornell zero, okay? And I'm gonna take that and put that in my white to create some highlights on the pot of gold. So you wanna make sure you load that up really good because it's gonna be covering over black. See how well that brush is loaded up. Let's see if I can see this pretty good here. I'm gonna put a line going like this. I'm sorry for the, this is really an odd angle for me to paint at. But you'll get the idea. It is pretty difficult to paint on yourself and it takes a lot of practice. It's even harder when you're trying to get a good shot in a camera. Okay, so you see there's kind of like highlights and things like that. And then we're going to add some highlights on the pot of gold. And these you can just add loops. Then we're going to add some highlights on the clovers just to create some definition so it doesn't look like green blobs everywhere. <laughs> there we go. 
so yeah, just a couple weeks ago, um, I got back from South Florida. I went down to face paint for Baba TV and got to hang out with the Silly Farm crew, which was a ton of fun. I had so much fun and made some really good new friends and just had a great time. And so I'm looking forward to going back to the convention this coming May. I'm going to enter my first body painting contest. Last year I did the face painting competition and I got second place in the semi-pro face painting which was awesome. Yay! Um, Alright, let's see here. And then we're going to add some black to the design. And so I'm going to take my another little Cornell Zero and with my brushes and everything I um I like to have uh, two set, uh, I should say three sets of every brush um, just because I like to have a set for my white colors, a set for my blacks, and then a set for every color in between. And this way my whites stay white and my blacks stay black. So that's really helped a lot from not muddying up my colors. And so Right now I'm just using tag black. Can you see that? And then what we're gonna do is go back to our zero little Cornell brush that had the white on it. And we're gonna add some more white to it. And we're gonna add just like little dots, you know, right above here. In the rainbow. Okay. And just add those right up there, like that. Okay. And then what we can do, oh, there's another one. I just cut bangs, so now I can't hold my hair back the way I used to, so I apologize for the hair on my face. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. And then we'll add some other little dots. can just put some red accent on these teardrops here. And some teardrops here that we'll add some white to. There we go. Voila! <laughs> Alright, and then if you want to dress it up a little, you can take either some um, some of the Mehran's Glitter Mark, or you can take, a, oh, what is it called? Liquid Bling, and go ahead and bling out your little pot of gold. Just take it and add. Just like that. It makes it all shiny. And if you want to get really fancy, you can just add some liquid bling dots. And I'll give it some dimension. If you want, but you don't have to. So, there's my design. Got some clovers on this side. And we got our pot of gold on this side. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want a list of everything that I used in this tutorial, I will go ahead and put it in the box down below. Thank you so much for watching me. Have a good day. Bye.